All right, welcome to the Cougar Den, affectionately named by Hall of Fame coach, the late great coach John Giesler, um, coming to you this evening from the Cougar Den. I am coach Tony, Mr. Worley, um, and I am sitting beside the voice of Illini Central senior San Josian Caleb Flores. Good evening, Cabes. Good evening, Dub G. It is nice to be back here in the Allen Stout broadcast booth, um, in the uh, booth in honor of my dear, dear friend, your uh, fellow San Josian, someone who is a big supporter of you, and you've had kind words to say about my friend uh, as the season's gone along when you've done some girls games. Um, looking forward to uh, later in January, we're going to actually dedicate this thing in Stout's name. Looking forward to that evening for us, you and I. We haven't decided yet whether it was the 26th against New Berlin or the 27th against Delvin. Uh, that's still up in the air, but looking forward to doing that. Tonight, though, we are bringing you some Tomahawk Conference basketball between the Mount Pulaski Hilltoppers and our Illini Central Cougars. Um, one thing I was looking at this afternoon, Mount Pulaski's coming in three and two in their last five games. We unfortunately are coming off of a tough Christmas tournament. and We've only played one game since then. We're one and four in our last five games. We're setting at seven and seven on the season. The Hilltoppers are setting at seven and 11 on the season. So, Caleb, what do you think the keys to tonight's game for your close friends and our Illini Central Cougars are in this game? We've already played once. Uh, the final was Illini Central 52-40 in the tournament at the beginning of the year. What do you think, Cabes? What do we got to do? Well, it brings the question, uh, does Coach Burks have the same game plan as he did in the Bill Rex tournament? Does he bring the same intensity uh, or the same focus, same game plan that he had in the Bill Rex tournament, or does he switch it up a little bit? Uh, Plasky and... Uh, uh, the Cougars have uh, had a bunch of time to prepare for this game. Um, I think we got to bounce back, obviously, after that rough Christmas tournament. Uh, we're looking for some redemption here, show people what we're all about. Um, so I think the keys are staying in it, playing hard, getting open, getting good looks, finding each other, uh, bring that team chemistry up. Uh, I think this is a very winnable game, obviously. We've already played them and beat them, but, you know, that doesn't mean anything. Well, it does, but it's a new game. Um, the boys are ready to play tonight. Uh, I've talked to some of them. They said they're ready to go, uh, especially Trenton Dietrich. Um, he was uh, out with a couple for a couple games with an ankle injury, so he's ready tonight. He's ready to go, and uh, we'll see what we got from him tonight. Check out for the big guy number 11 down there. Expect a game from him. Yeah, I think the one thing that you said that I totally agree with is it's the chemistry thing. We have to play for each other. We can't worry about uh, minutes and shots and things like that. We got to play. We got to be in the game together. Um, like you said, it'd be nice to have T back on the court after missing Friday's game at Springfield Lutheran. That was a loss by 11. Um, I, I think the other thing, and you know this because you're a senior, you, the days are numbered you know, senior year coming to an end and you got to make sure that you get the most out of it. And hopefully the guys know, you know, they got the rest of January and only a couple of weeks in February and then it's one and done. So um, not a whole lot of home game. We have actually more home games left in the regular in the regular season. We've been on the road a lot. So um, one more opportunity to play in front of the home fans and try to take advantage of it. Mother Nature cooperated and we were both able to have school today and um, looking forward would, to getting this game. I wouldn't call that cooperation. Well, I know. You'd love to have a day off. I would have had to be here. I would have had to have been here anyway. So, Because I run a line. I central, as we know. <laughs> and uh, so we got about a minute and 25 seconds to go until uh, the starting lineups and all that good stuff. Um, so we're going to cut out here in a minute. We'll uh, get ready for the national anthem. And uh, performed by uh, Mr. Kelly Damon, the uh, great band leader of the Illini Central Cougars, and uh, looking forward to uh, hearing them perform. Good to see uh, the Cougar in the house tonight. So uh, a lot of stuff going on. We'll be back after the national anthem.
my good friend, high school principal, Mr. Klobo. We gotta tease him again tomorrow. He just loves that word integral, integral. Integral part, integral. He's giving a hard time about that. Okay, let's meet the starting lineups for the Hilltoppers. That is number two. Caleb, you got the names uh, I think, there. I think it's Shantz and uh, Eric Cooper. Uh, 14, Franklin Wade. Uh, 33, Luke Martin. And 42, Nolan Dibert. Diebert. No, he told me it was Dibert. Did he? Yeah. Okay. I've been saying it wrong all these years. Coach Dibert is one of the best guys around, as is Coach Clement. Uh, love talking to those guys. Back when I was the varsity coach, a couple of my favorite people to coach against. Mount Pulaski is always good to me. Now let's meet our starting lineup. What do we got, Caves? He said Brady. <laughs> did he say Brady? Yeah, he did. We got two, Brody Folks. Five, David Bard. 11, Trenton Dietrich. And 15, Lucas Powers, our boy. Ben Hannes, that's 35, Hunter Snyder. Nobody dressed up like Ben Franklin <laughs> in grade school better than number 35. That's true. You know what? Hunter I'm Snyder. I'm not even going to deny that one. Okay, so um, we see got our starting lineup ready. We've got yeah. theirs. Uh, we are ready for Cougar basketball. Cougars win the tip. Lucas Power catch and shoot. Pass from Brody Folks. It's off rebound. Hunter Snyder feeds it down to Dietrich. Dietrich loses the ball. His shots pass down to Frank Wade. And fouled. And we just have Eric Cooper take it out for the Hilltoppers. Sure, what happened there? Me either. Folks pass to Bard. We get the press. Already, folks. We pass to Dietrich. Dietrich in the corner. Three's no good. Rebound, Shantz. Shantz trips up. Teammate Eric Cooper recovers. I've not seen this officiating crew before. I, that's weird. That doesn't happen very often. Where I'm not. I don't think I've yeah. seen any of them and obviously have been coaching here for 21 years, right? right? But I don't think I've, the name of the person closest to us was familiar on his jacket, but other than that, I'm not, I don't know. Line central man to man as usual. Switching every screen. Cooper pass to Dibert. Dibert's three, no good. Good box out from David Bard. It's Hunter Snyder. Bard gives a look in the post to Dietrich. Dietrich has the dime to Hunter Snyder. Hunter Snyder converts. Cougars take a 2-0 lead. Martin. Divert. Martin. Pass to Wade. Bounce pass to Cooper. Cooper working on Bard. Tries to dump it. Shots. It's trapped. Shots. Divert. Cooper. A little, a little bit of a slow possession here. Ball is stolen. Lucas Power. Full court pass to Bard is intercepted. Shots. Franklin Wade. Pass in the corner to Eric Cooper. Cooper's three is money. David Bard, pass to Birdie Folks. Birdie Folks driving, and we're gonna have a foul. I know Coach Burks wasn't happy with the uh, 
hit ahead by Lucas, but I don't think that's always a bad thing. You gotta kind of take advantage, be aggressive, see what happens. He hesitated a second. That might have been the only thing that could have done different. Trenton Dietrich. Dietrich passes to Snyder. Snyder's three-point attempt over Dibert. Money. Hunter Snyder puts it in. Hunter five, Pulaski yep. three. Well, check Dibert that. answers <laughs> right back. It's going to be tough to keep track of Trenton's points tonight. Uh, the scoreboard's not on. So I have to pay close attention to that. Hand me, hand me that pen. I'll try to help out Okay. There. Remember the last time I tried to do some stats, I had Trenton's rebounds off by like six. So, uh, but again, at that time, it's kind of hey, hard to count them. Don't worry about it. It's Cooper to Wade. Hilltoppers possession. Up by a point. Divert. Wade. Loses the ball. Shots passes to Martin. Martin's three over Dietrich. It's no good. Nice good box, box out, out by Hunter Snyder. Lucas Power, I think Dietrich passes Snyder. Birdie Folks. Dietrich. Not shoot that, David. Lucas Power, the feed from Bard. Not a boy, Lucas Lou. Power puts it in. Not a boy, Lou. Nice shot from Lucas Power. It's our guy. You see what he did? He like yeah. ran over here. He was like. That's good. So well, that was a good. It's a good start. We're off to a good what start. I'm seeing with 4:48 in the first quarter. What I'm seeing is uh, he's got some snipers tonight. Uh, everyone's yeah. hitting shots. Them so. too. Yeah. And they're off, they're shooting the ball well. We're shooting the ball well. Just got to keep going. You gotta have to keep, keep being aggressive. I mean, our boy can tell our boys are confident right now. Uh, like I said, pregame and definitely looking for each other. Um, I haven't seen any unselfish plays yet. Uh, I like to see that the chemistry. So let's see if they can carry it on throughout the rest of the game. But let's get through this first quarter first. Come Still on. starts on this end. We got to play good defense, stops and rebounds. You said Hunter had a good box out last time. We got to contest. That's a walk. Yep, he did. Coach Gensel always said you got to be careful shot faking. Some people like ends up traveling because of it. David Bard. Lucas Power. Pass to Bertie Folks. Folks bounce past the Snyder. Snyder at the top of the key. Trying to feed it down to Good Dietrich. To he does. Dietrich gets it. And that's his first two. Wade dumps it off to Shantz. Shantz. Oh, that's Shantz not wide good open down the lane. Pass from Dibert. Might have looked like David's fault, but that's not David's fault. Where's the help at? Got to get to help. Hunter Snyder has separation. Will he get a second three? No good. Offensive rebound, Dietrich. Dietrich tries to feed it inside of Hunter Snyder. But he's tipped off on the toppers. T, you've got to try to score there. Don't kick that out. Don't kick that over there. Shoot it. Power floats it up to Dietrich. Dietrich, take a bump into Dieter. Not get it. I like Hunter going for a rebound. That's good. Wade. Stop and pull. His three, no good. Rebound Dietrich. Comes David Bard. Got to be decisive. Where's his look? Run, run, run. I like that. Push the ball. Let's go. Brody Folks. Money. Brody Folks gets his first three of the game. Three points for number two. Two threes for Hunter. One for Lou. One for Brody. So that's off. No. Hunter has one three and a layup. Oh, that's right. One three and a layup. Shantz tries to save it. It gets to Bard. Bard in transition. What's his look? Dump it off to Dietrich. Dietrich through the contact. Oh, right. almost gets it up and under. Shantz. I like the pace. Scott Snyder, he'll pull up. I like the pace. Rebound Dietrich. Lucas Power floats it to Bard. Power, Dietrich. Dietrich's got a three at the top of the key. It's not hit. It's rebound. rebound. Power. Get it, Dave. Dave. Bard left corner three. Boom. Oh. Shantz rebound. You're not going to make them all. That's okay. Uh, I just hope they keep taking their shots and finding those shots. If they keep fi taking their shots and eventually finding them, then they're going to hit more. I love the pace. I really do. I know we don't go very deep into the bench, but I just like how hard we're playing. This is the most aggressive we've played 
Yeah, they're all full for that. Let's see if Luke can get power. Pass to Folks. Get Folks it. wants this one. Does not get it. Is Eric Cooper. Pass. Martin's Good. pass. Luke gets his foot. Put on it. Subs coming in. Number five. He shot the lights out at the beginning of that JV yeah, game. That's, uh, Aaron uh, Kuznick, I think he said. Kuznick. Kuznick, yeah, Kuznick. And Chase Passcatch comes in for us, as well as Drew and Snyder. Evans. And Drew. It's Eric Cooper. Got to kind of not in a fresh rotation, but we got some new guys out there. See what they can do. Wade, pass to Cooper. Cooper's directing his guys. Who's Nick Dibert hit one earlier? That one, it's no good. Excuse me, no good. Rebound for Bard, throws it up court to Power. Power finds Dietrich, Dietrich. Lost the ball, Martin Steele. Behind the back for Cooper, bounce it down to Kuznick. Finds wide open Eric Cooper at the free throw line. His midi is no good. Nice athletic rebound from Pascatch. Burke's telling his team, slow down. And running the set play. Lucas Power, the sweet move, finds wide open. Oh, I wanted David to shoot oh, that. that one. Pass, I wanted Lucas to keep going. Deej Dietrich, Dietrich, through the contact. Oh, I'll go to the line for two. You know, one thing we're doing really well right now is they're getting one shot and we're getting a rebound. Like, we haven't given up any offensive rebounds that I can think of in this first quarter. That's what you got to do. I, re I mean, I spend the majority of the games that I coach yelling, you know, stopping a rebound. So we're getting a stop, we're getting a rebound. That's part of the reason why we're in the position that we're in right now. Dietrich's first three throw, money. I think that's his third point. Second. Right on a dime. Four points for Trent Dietrich. Got subs, do we? Did somebody come in there for um, Sean Plaster? Yeah, Sean's uh, starter. Putting out a little breather. Uh, they still do have a bench player, Kuznick. Dietrich, Martin working on Dietrich. Shuts that, Dietrich shuts that down. Eric Cooper, drive baseline on power, throw it up. Oh my goodness. And. Uh, Looked like Houdini right there. He just pulled that one out of his hat. I don't even that know where crazy. that one came from. That was crazy. Did Houdini have a hat? I don't think so. Uh, I don't know. I'm just saying stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, I I, he probably did. I mean, I feel like all musicians really use hats. That's true. That's true. I don't Drew really Evans. know a lot of magicians. But right. Dietrich. Nice pass, Chase. And... Trent Dietrich was sub out of the game. It's a good time. It's a good sub for him. Give him this 26 seconds and then the rest of the, uh, the break in between the first and the second. So the Hilltopper is probably going to hold for the last shot. It's a common thing. Um, it's going to start with Wade. Kind of in his dribble. Looking. Cross pass to Kuznick. Finds Martin. We got limited time here. And. <laughs> Just like uh, David with the reach from behind, knocks it away. All the way into the bleachers. Flying into the crowd. Oh, like took a, a fan's head off. Oh, got a sub coming in. Like a cannonball. We got Martin checking out, and we got your boy uh, Dybert checking in. His dad's a great guy. Wade, he'll get it. The last second shot, no good. Rebound, good pass rebound. catch to seal the quarter. Good rebound, Chase. Good rebound. All right, so as we head into the break between the first and second quarter, just a reminder, you are watching the Illini Central Sports Network.
only we had another microphone. Um, nice job by the cheerleaders. Um, very offensive first half. Yeah. Uh, I, guess. I mean, not first half, first quarter. Right. Um, honestly, I'm kind of blown away. Uh, no I one's missing. Like really I said, I, I just love, I love the pace. And the tempo, yeah, the tempo we were bringing. Um, love the pace that we're playing with. See if we continue that here in the second. Uh, it's eight minutes till half. Um, I hope the boys keep it up, keep hitting shots. Maybe get some closeouts to stop some of them Pulaski shooters. The ball's lost. Power recovers and gets it back. Well, Wade gets it, but the end of the stops. Cooper, no good. He gets yeah, his offensive, offensive rebound, rebound, follows through. He's blocked by Pascatch. Lucas Power, there's two guys down the court for Pulaski. We got to convert here. What a dime from David Barhart. Oh, my goodness. You see that? Yeah, I did. Unfortunately, Hall of Fame playmaker. Looked like a two. Looked like a point guard from 2K. I should have been quiet. That was, was two offensive rebounds. That right was there. nice. Brody Folks. Dietrich. Look at the basket tee. It's power. Folks has a wide open three at the top of the key. Money. Brody Folks, another one. Timeout from Mount Pulaski. All right, let's run, let's run that commercial. Gosh, what a great commercial. Oh, the my. Students in my class. running that commercial. It's a great commercial. Let's watch that. My students in the class three, Macy McLaughlin, give her the credit. Bailey Cruzy, Maddie Brooks, Avery Higdon. That is some good work. <laughs> <laughs> Almost didn't have the mic turned on in time. Uh, Gosh darn it. You got that shot Cooper in Cooper gets me. the lucky bounce That's on that. That's a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. It was a good commercial. Good hat. Uh, good shot by you. Got to make one now that's like it's on sale. Right. You got to wait till they're on sale. Pa Dietrich nice pass. Feed from get it. Brody Folks does not get that one. Good hustle. <laughs> Drew and hustle right. Drew and yeah, he's all right. Oh, wow, tough. I hope Drew's all right. It's loud. LP comes out. Barred on the inbound, finds Hunter Schneider. Folks, Neon shots. Folks, pick up his dribble, finds Bard. Drew and Evans off the screen. Snyder in the post on Dibert. Dibert. Brody Folks. It will drive. Dump it off to Dietrich who finds Bard. Bard will drive. Tuck it. And let it roll in the hoop. David Bard puts it in. Wade. Not even sure what happened right there. Boys. We got, that's just not good enough. You can't play defense like that. Got to be better playing defense. Better help on defense. You just took that 10 point lead. Get a stop. Dietrich working on Martin. Bump. Loses the ball. Martin working on Evans. Evans pass. I mean, not Evans. Martin passed to Wade. A 4 0 run right there after pushing it to 10. Snyder. Bard, Bard's looking. Nice crossover, step behind the screen from Dietrich. Just short. Eric Cooper, drive baseline. Has a sweet move. To get around Bard, and convert the layup. Six zero run. Hunter Snyder, gotta get a bucket. Bard. Hey, 
Oh. It's a lot of contact there. <laughs> yeah, they're obviously going to try to get it out of Trenton's hands when he catches it in the post. Um, 6-0 run when Lou went out. I don't know. I'm not blaming any specific. I'm not saying it's any. Defensively, right. we're a different team when Lou's not on the court. It's David Bard. Finds folks. Swing it. Dietrich finds Snyder. Snyder's three. It's no good. Rebound Martin. Stopping a rebound here. Divert. Fake. Drive. Baseline. Puts it up and in. There goes that 10-point lead. Just like that. Down to two. Interesting. <coughs> um, momentum has shifted. However... We're still in this game. I, we're leading the game. Yeah, no, uh, I, just, I just meant you just don't – you hate to build a 10-point lead and then let them go on. I mean, they're good enough to do it. They've hit some tough shots, but right. you can't you let you, things like that happen. And, and the funny thing is, as I was saying in the first quarter, it was one and done for them. Now for us, it's one and done. We come down here, take a shot, miss it. They get the rebound and go the other way. we got to do something to try to keep that from happening. I like the intensity we were playing with in the first quarter. I feel like we need to bring that back. Um, not only that, but the way we were playing defense for that little stretch before they went on their, what was it, 8-0? Yeah. yeah, they're on an 8-0 run right yeah, now. Run. It, was just, uh, it was just 22 to 12 with my great math. I do know that. Great math. I wonder, who, I wonder who you get that from. I wonder who you get that from. I don't know. I think I started that on my own. I think both my parents were good at math. They're going to pick up full court here a little bit. Looks like they're going to no, – 1, 2, 2 maybe? Or just man. Gonna try to get a quick trap. Nope. Luke, that's Lucas's fault. Oh, he gets it back. Makes up for it. Bounce pass to Bard. Find Snyder. Snyder will find Power. Power. Back to Snyder. Snyder. Snyder will pull up. No good. It's not Rebound a good shot. Martin. Got to run some offense. Dibert. Posting up power. Finds Eric Cooper. Cooper's three is good. That's the lead. Verdi Folks. Finds power. Power is a triple threat. Somebody needs Bounce to pass to Snyder, who has a wide open layup. <laughs> sure, what happened? Snyder missed the layup. It was a nice feed from Power. David Bard working on Cooper. Lucas, after running from the baseline, gets it. Birdie Folks, right corner, finds Power. Power's three, up and in. Power hits the three. Here's the bad thing about that. This is That's only the second shot he's taken. He made his first one. He's, like, he's taken him this long to shoot in that Ibert, short. High arcing three. But enough. Gets the bounce. Nice shot. Shooter's touch. Because it was short. Front of the rim. Bounce right in. Give it a chance. Bard, pass to Folks. Folks, bounce pass into Dietrich. Tries to feed it to Brody, who's driving baseline. Dietrich tips it up, fights for it. There's Wade down the court, step back three. Almost does not get the other lucky bounce. David Bard, got 2.34 to go for the second half. I don't know if Trenton's ankle's bothering him, but he's sure not being very Brody aggressive. Folks, another three, yeah, count it. He's on fire right now, Brody Folks. Looking like an archer, getting all of his bullseyes. I like it. He's just sniping and sniping. The green arrow. Yep. Divert, not get that one. Rebound, Dietrich. This box out. Brody Folks, does he want another one and does not get it? Bard, I'm gonna get a jump. Even with Brody's miss right there, he still made some huge shots and contributed a lot. 
is still on fire in my book, even though that was a little heat check. Uh, Coach Burks switching up the defenses here. We'll go a little 1-3-1. One, one. Gotta know where uh, the coach's son is. He does a good job of flashing. Oh. Darn it. I guess they kicked it. Lucas Power nearing the end of the second quarter here. Finished this off strong. Power working on Wade. Wade beats Wade, pass to Pascatch. Pascatch will take a power dribble. Does not get it. Offensive rebound power. Bard. Step into his mid-range shot. Just a little too much on it. Shots coming in transition. Goes up on power, misses the layup. And Eric Cooper gets the ball and misses his mid-range. And he tips it out of bounds. A minute and five very, to go. Very crazy sequence of events right there. Uh, just quick. A bunch of missed shots. It's, it's, happening. A, it's a little bit of a one-two-two, two, but they try to really trap that first pass. Finds power, power, Keep bounce going. pass to Dietrich. Dietrich, up and under, count it. What's that, six? six. That's a four point lead, 48, point, 48 seconds to go. Cougars stay one, three, one. They just missed a wide open layup last time. Ooh, that's, see, that's what I was worried about. It's it. That's what I was worried about. Like I said, you gotta know where he's at and you're gonna play that zone. Got to pressure the passer. You can't just let him throw it right there. Already, folks, nice crossover, quick and swift. Dump it off to Lucas Power. 25 folks. seconds. Folks, bounce pass to Bard. And pounce to Power. We got a set play to, to end this quarter. Where will we go? Dietrich, dump it off to Power. Power finds Bard. Bard pulls it, does not get it, and it's a one-point lead, a half. All right. All right, we'll leave it on for the Palms. Um, at the half, Illini Central tr uh, leads 30-29 versus the Mount Pulaski Hilltoppers. Or Turn the mic up a little bit. Thanks, Dub. Too quiet, is it? Yeah. Okay. Don't remember turning it down. I don't know what happened. Well, here come the Palm Girls.
All right, we are back here at the Cougar Den. Uh, good first half. Back and forth, a lot of three-pointers for both teams, a lot of uh, runouts and aggressive offense. Defense at times not the best, but um, I think it, more, it was more of the shooting than anything. Um, we don't have the stats board tonight because we <laughs> tonight we have high school boys going on. We have middle school girls volleyball going on, and we have middle school boys basketball going on. <laughs> There's a nice cough in your ear. Wake you up in case you were falling asleep on me. Um, uh, so we don't know who leading scorers are for the most part. I'd say it have to be something. It's got to uh, be Brody Folks, right? Yeah. He hit at least. Does he hit think, at least three threes? Brody, Lucas, and Trenton and Hunter I think are the top. Uh, and Bard, I think David has two threes. I think it's pretty even, actually. Uh, so, I think Brody has three threes. I think he's the leader. So I think yeah. he has nine. It's probably right there. Coach Dybert's son. Uh, is Coach Dybert the? Coach right. Dybert's in the white pullover over there, coming in front, walking in front of the stage. Gotcha. Um, Coach Clements is the one in the black pullover. He was an absolute star at Mount Pulaski when he was a kid. I was reading about him online. Uh, I think they won. I'm just sure they won a state championship. And such a great guy, I guess. I talked to Coach Gensel about him, and Coach Gensel was saying how he was just unbelievable, just a great basketball player. And like I said, just a what, great guy. I was like that? talking to him. Did he go play D1 ball? I don't know. I don't remember that. And Coach Rux, Coach Rux, the late great Coach Rux, loved talking to that guy when my 21 years ago when I got to Illini Central, and. Uh, he was always so friendly, acted like he'd known you his whole life. He was such a nice guy. Um, I remember going over to my first time I went to Mount Pulaski, actually the first time I ever went to Mount Pulaski in my life, and uh, coaching a middle school game in their grade school, and you walk in, here's this seven-foot guy leaning back on the bleachers, and just he, <laughs> he was the nicest guy. I always enjoyed talking to him. So and then scorekeeper Marty Spears down there for – Keeping the book for him, great guy too. Always Yeesh. love seeing him. Uh, that's one of the best parts about being a coach is all the people that you meet and get to be around. Uh, yeah, a lot of people over the years. Uh, so let's get this half started. I'll turn it over to the voice of Illini Central, Illini Central's basketball. All right, here we go. We're gonna get started with this, this half. Hunter Snyder. Ball is tipped away, he falls. Wade gets the ball, bounce pass to Martin, and Pulaski starts off hot, or quick, I should say, not hot. It's only been one um, field goal attempt. Um, they get a layup. Hunter Snyder, pass to Dietrich. Dietrich, back out to Snyder. David Bard will shoot it over Martin. Gets that one to fall. Again, we got to get back to what we're doing in the first quarter. We got to get one. They get one shot. We get the rebound. There's so many lead changes. How many? It's probably hard to count how many there's been. Uh, yeah, especially since we had that 10-point lead. And they went on their 8-0 run. Uh, you're right. That's a good point. And Cooper, he's been on fire tonight. Does not get that one. And out Ooh. on the toppers. The close one. Howard throws it up to Bard. I know, throws I, it all I, the way to Brody Folks. Nice athleticism there to get that ball. David Bard, pass to Power. Dietrich floats it to Snyder, gets the contact. And go to the line for two. I mean, free throws, I feel like it's either we are excelling and we're hitting all of our free throws or, you know, it's just kind of down in the dump. Uh, I feel like sometimes we have our struggles with free throws. Yeah. Um, it's our Fulton game, yeah, wasn't it? We missed a lot of free throws. And probably shouldn't have said anything, but it's all right. Snyder's going to get this one. Um, see if he can make it a three-point game here. He knows he's getting subbed. I always used to joke to the guy that was getting subbed in. He gets it. If he misses it, he knows he was coming out. <laughs> I used to always tease guys 
He missed that on purpose. Hunter hits it, pushes it to a three-point lead. Here's Wade. Pass to Cooper. Cooper looking, faking. Dibert. And I think they're going to call that out of bounds. I think it went over the hoop. He shoots that really high. That's yeah, he's got. Really a, I was, it's funny. I was just thinking that he's got a really, really high really release high shot. Yeah. Uh, I was just thinking the exact same thing. Brody Folks. Don't get that one. Shots. He's gonna push it, pushing it up the court, and he'll take it himself. Does not get it. And here's Bard. He's not gonna wait for his guys to get back. On it. Don't do too bad moving that camera to the right, but back to the left. Here's oh, power. Press to Bard. Bard thought about it. Power over Wade. Oh. Not get that one. Martin's got a lane and converts it over Pascal. Can't play defense. Just dribbled right in there. Just got his power. Guarding that person. Hesitation. Has to dump it to Pascal. Finds Dietrich. Brody Folks. Nope. Pascatch, Bard. That's a good cut by Chase. Too, Dietrich. Too adjusted. Dietrich, power. Power is no good. Pascatch just spiked the ball. Lucas has got it. Lucas just retains possession. Power. Bard, left corner three. It's no good. And often almost another offensive rebound. Couldn't hit there. Johns tipped out of bounds by Bard. Nice hustle. Nice defensive play. Oh, is that off them? Really? That's weird. I mean, I know I'm watching it on the little screen in front of me, but I wouldn't I would have <laughs> I right. lost that bet. I thought David David must have knocked it off of them, I guess. Bard, pass catch, pass catch. He's wide open at the top of the key. Yeah, I mean, he's wide open because he's not a three-point shooter. Let's see, you can see that Dybert's son didn't get out on him. He was told not to. Dietrich, left corner, three. I'm surprised they not left Trenton it. that wide open. I like Chase being, Chase has been really aggressive on the boards. That's been a good thing. That's Martin, how he helps his power, team. power, quick Euro step, and he gets it. They take the lead by one. Took that one out of his bag, brought the Euro. I didn't see the first game that we played against them. It was, I remember if I watched it. There's Wade. It's fouled. Got Franklin Wade for the Hilltoppers going to the line. Wade. It's to roll. Two point lead. Drew and Evans comes in. He's going to get past catch. Mr. Carr's out there watching tonight. Got an email from uh, him. Always, it's Coach, always. Coach Butkovich, Coach Gensel was a big fan of his, obviously. Had a newspaper article laminated on uh, his office wall. We got some uh, information here from Mr. Carr. Um, Ed. Butkovich. Yeah, yeah. Mount, he said Pulaski legend. He said in 76. Yeah, they won the state championship, championship. in 76, yeah. Crazy, like 76 was a long time ago. Oh, he doesn't. He does not even look like he no. would have played in the 70s. Yeah, high school ball. Then again, Dub G was five, so I can't say anything. I shouldn't True. say anything. I was five in 76. Martin. Wade gets the bounce. Defensively, we just don't. We have no intensity on defense. Or we don't now. We did in the first quarter. But now 
Things are starting to go sideways. What are we going to do from here? Drew and Evans. It's power. Need, need a good shot on this trip. Power finds Bard. The perimeter. Circling around. Pretty folks. Bounce pass to Bard. Bard needs this one. Just short. Offensive rebound for Bard. Dump off to Dietrich. Oh. Just lost it. Martin pushing it down the court. Three on two. Nice bounce. Timeout. Nice pass. Overhead pass to Shantz. And a seven point lead for the toppers. Well, if you go back and watch that, I mean, we can't do it because I don't have the instant replay set up. But they have a three on two break. We got obviously two guys back. We have three guys jogging back on defense because they don't think they think they're going to get a layup. And then we could have ended up stopping that. We've got to play harder on the defensive end. That's how we went from being up 22 to 12 to now all this time later we're down uh, 30 or 41, 30, 41, 34. I know if you're like listening at home, you're like, wow, Coach Rooley is being really negative. I love these kids. This is, these are great kids. We just got to play harder. We got to play harder. It's like we were saying before the game, you've got only a handful of games left to call. You know, like you'll come back and call some games with me next year, but you're seeing it's like we got a lot of seniors on this team. The, the time in the hourglass, the sand is running out. You've got to play hard all the time. You're running out of games. You know, it's like at the beginning of this week, the high school girls had six weeks left in their season. You think six weeks is a lot? No, it's really not. Um, I just I want to wish these wish the boys would pick up the level of intensity. Um, time's running out. Let's go. This is a good Mount Pulaski team, and you know it's been a good game. But if we're not careful, this is going to turn into a 15, 20 point game, real quick. Like, yeah, I completely agree with everything you just said, except the fact that I would add that. Uh, we got to be aggressive like we were in the first quarter. Um, um, hold on. Ahead. But what I was saying, we got to be aggressive here in the next quarter. I'm not sure what's going on. Right now. Well, one thing that's going on is we're not scoring, so we can't get it, you know, and then we're not getting stops. They're in a 2 2 1 full court press right now. That You usually try that when you want to slow the other team down, um, make them take. Folks. How you, Dump off to Evans. Sorry at home, I'm watching, I'm watching the game on the court instead of the monitor. They're doing a good job of keeping us from getting it into T's hands too. 100%, um, we need to get him, feed him the ball. Drew and Evans will pull for three. It's no good. And That's a great box runner. out. Dibert. It's Eric Cooper. Had a good game tonight. He just completely traveled. I mean, I'm not even sure if he meant to do that. He just took the ball and jumped with it. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah. I'm checking out David. I saw David run to the locker room. David had to change jerseys. He must have had blood on his must have had blood on his jersey. You can change numbers. You just have to make sure you let the scorer's table know and the officials know if you had to switch your jersey because you got blood on it. So that's what that little stoppage was. Got under two minutes to go in this quarter, down nine. You better get going. Need a good possession Power. here. Hesitation. Hard, finds Folks. Folks, pounding his dribble. He's got his look. Lucas Power over Wade. Count it. Needed that. And let clutch, me clutch. go ahead. Sorry. What are you saying? No, I was just going to say, I've been talking about a lot about what we're not doing. Let's make sure we give Mount Pulaski credit for what they are doing. And, like, that's a huge, like, we just hit a three. They turn right around and they get one right back. Until Coach's son takes a lot of time He's shooting threes. Something happened to the score for David some Bard. At the front of the rim. Wade. Good pass. And we're going to foul Lucas Power. I don't know what happened to the score. <laughs> it got, <laughs> I don't know what happened to it, but it ended oh. up making us a lot closer than we actually were. I don't know how that happened, but it's right now. We hit a three, then they hit yeah, a three. Yeah, I was wondering. I was like, was this yeah. a six-point game now? Yeah. Did I miss something? Yeah, I don't know what happened, uh, but. 
Eric Cooper feeding it down to Martin. Got a mismatch. It was rejected by Dietrich. Gives it to Bard. Come on, guys. Brody Folks. Going to drive baseline, kick it back to Bard. Folks, Folks wants it. Does not get it. Don Martin. Throw it up to Wade. They're going to hold it for one shot or try to. I'm going to give them a timeout. I'm going to call a full timeout. Well, what do you think we need to adjust? Uh, like I said, if we'll just play, if we'll play harder on defense, and again, like I was saying, I, you know, if you're like listening at home, it's funny, I was watching some, uh, watch games obviously, being a coach, watch girls games and other people's broadcasts. And, and try not to be a homer, obviously, even though this is the Illini Central Sports Network, but they, uh, they're doing a good job. They're hitting shots, they're getting stops. Um, we gotta run better offense. And our defensive intensity has got to be better, consistently better. Because like I said, the one I was complaining about, you have a three-on-two break, we're the two, they're the three, and we have three guys jogging back there. I don't even know, not that I will take the time to do it, but I don't even know if they cross half court. You can't do that and be a good team and win. Yeah, I agree. Thanks for your insight and uh, what you had to say. But... Hoping we can pull off a little run like Pulaski did early on in the first quarter. Well, because we saw it in the first quarter. Yeah. We were getting stopped. We get it, They get one shot, and we get the rebound. Yeah. I mean, it's not like we haven't done it. It's, it's not like it's, we're asking us to do something we haven't done. We did it in the first quarter. Because we're down, down nine right now. Yep. Got to get a stop right here. 25 seconds to go. They run the elevator play. Martin Didn't get it. Gets Wade. I don't know if they were actually going to take it out of the elevator, or maybe if it was wide open. And shots. Pull up. No good. Nice box got out. Got some time. Brody Folks transition. Position ball here. Dietrich. Drive in. Puts it in. Nice little floater from Dietrich. Don't foul. Don't Wade. foul. Don't foul. No way. Oh. And got to Seven point game. Eight minutes. Got MPs cheerleaders. So um, this podcast we're going to do here before very long. Mm. It's funny. Today I got an email from a teacher who told me that it had been 40 years since Purple Rain came out, which is true. It came out in 84. Wow. It was kind of weird that it was a teacher it's out of the blue, sent it to me, said I needed to put Purple Rain on the bell music today. I 100% which, agree. Which, but I can't, it, it's really hard to do. You can't, it doesn't, not something I can do in 20 minutes. It's not something I can do in two hours. But um, that got me to thinking, it's funny that teacher said that, and here you and I are getting ready to do our first podcast together on the Anthony Worley's podcast talking about the top five best Prince songs. I thought that was funny. We were just talking about that the other night. So, I mean, um, it's definitely tough. Prince is one of the goats. Um, five songs isn't enough. Never. You could probably do like 30, but. Um, yeah, we're going to do that soon. Yep. Soon. Maybe um, we could do it uh, Friday. <laughs> Yeah, when if we don't have school, when we get how many ever inches of snow they're saying. Yeah. So that forecast is crazy. So here we go, fourth quarter. Mount Plasky with the ball. If okay. I'm them, I'm going to try to run some clock, I, and not in terms of taking, you know, like stalling, but I'm not going to hurry up and throw up the first shot that I can get. And so far, they've done that. And we got a steal. Here we go. We have to take advantage of this. It's crucial. Trenton Dietrich folks. has got to be more aggressive. David Bard. Not get it. Folks. Back to Bard. Bard. We're not getting anything going to the rim either. Oh. Plasky recovers. Martin. Dump it to Cooper. Over 1 3 1. Again, we got to know where the coach's son is. Wade's three. It's not a good enough closeout. 10-point game. 
not a good enough closeout. Here's Bard. Folks. Bounce pass. Bard. Lucas Power has hit some clutch threes in this game. Let's not get that one. We got, a, what, we got a double dribble here. <coughs> I think that was a double dribble on Eric Cooper. So the Cougars will get the ball back, which is huge. Finds power. Nice cut, power, nice cut. Lays it in. Eight point lead for the Hilltoppers. So now I are we back to man now? I think we are. Yeah, we're back to man. Shots, pass to Wade. Did we not know who Ibert. Again, eight point game, six minutes to go. They're not gonna be in any big hurry to fire up the first shot they can get. Cooper tries to get something to go. He's not Lucas, get go it. get it. Brody Folks. Beat it. David Bard walks across the half court line. Brody mm. Folks looking. Snyder. Snyder feeds it into Dietrich. Off the glass. Nope. Rebound. Dibert. It's almost stolen by power. And ooh. Was he calling that a foul or I just <coughs> went out of bounds on? I don't know. They're talking about it. Okay, they're calling it. I think they just said he knocked, Lucas knocked it out, I guess. I, I agree. I, that was just I, a great play. I, I'm watching it on a, like a tiny little window, so yeah. I can't see. Wade's wide open. Got to get your man. Well, got to get the help. There's like three guys standing on the other side of the lane. The ball's on the other side. Brody Folks. Pass the dump to Snyder. His power. Bard thought about pulling it. Cooper. Just is in his face. Brody Folks. David Bard. Bounce pass to Dietrich. Speaking of Dietrich, if not anything, Martin takes a 180 and lays it up. The left side. His left hand. They've played a really good game tonight. They've played a really good game tonight. They've, I mean, they've been, after we got off to the, I mean, we were up 30 to 29 at the half. Right. We were up 22 to 12. They've played a good, they've played a good game tonight. And like you said, remember how much we were talking about how much we loved that tempo and how we were running? We can't get a stop to do it now. That's what it is. It's not that we're not trying to run. It's that we can't. You can't. I'm a Los Angeles Lakers fan since I was a little kid. And you could only run when, I mean, they would run out of, off a of made basket too. But you can run more when you get stops. If you don't get stops, you can't run. If you don't get a stop, you can't run. Drew and Evans back in for Hunter Snyder. Full court press back. 2-2-1 two, two, again. Like I said, not necessarily to try to get a trap. More, I mean, you Power. will trap out Step of it. Step into a shot. It's not get it. Rebound Dietrich. Dietrich puts it up. And gets it. Timeout. That's eight. <laughs> the best part is there's still time left. Four, point, four minutes to go, 10-point yeah. game. But we've, it's got to be on the defensive end. It has absolutely nothing to do with what we do on offense. It's kind of slipped away from us. Uh, Pulaski, they have their foot on the gas ever since this started. Um, yeah. They haven't let up. You know, they're pushing it into the ground. They're trying to put the nail in the coffin. But if our boys persevere, they try to put some fight into this, um, may potentially see a comeback. Yeah, the ball's out down here. Walking. So let's see, what are we doing? 
What are we going to do defensively? No. Nope. Well, we are 1-3-1. One, one. We need to get a hard trap, and we have to close out to shooters. Like that. Oh, man, that's good. That's a steal. David it's Bard. Draws contact. He's trying to go fast break. Need to run our best out of bounds play here. 10 point game, 3.43 to go. Mount Plasky leads. Dietrich working on Martin. It's the contact. So, Ben's got a chance. Two at the line. <coughs> Need these. Beatrix first. Then That's good. Gets into nine. Second. Short. Good, Druin. Good. That's a huge rebound, actually, because that gets us another possession. That is a nice offensive rebound. Dietrich. And dumps it off the power. Evans. Just a bard. I don't know. I think we're taking too much time to get a shot. And bard finds Dietrich. Dietrich finds power. Power dip, set. Dipped it Shoots. Way too low. He gets it. Another one for Lucas Power. Huh. Six point lead now. He's going to give me a hard time about that call. We got to get that trap out of this. If we're going to stay 1 3 1, we got to trap hard out of this. Come on, Drew. Trap, trap, trap. Got to get out to him. Ooh, that's one. That's a pass we got to steal. Martin's in trouble. Dumps off the trap the there. Hybrid. David's going to have to use. David's got to be smart and using his energy too much. Trap. Pressure, pressure. Trap. Trap right there. Oh, we got to get that. Oh, how do we not get that? Wade Martin driving baseline. Does not get it. Darn it. Darn it. And it's out on us. There were two Said, passes there. Yeah, that we got a lot of passes it. we could have intercepted. Anytime they throw those long, looping skip passes, we've got somebody has to anticipate and get them. Now we got to go back to man because it's coming out of bounds. We haven't fouled yet. We're going to have to foul two before long, and they're not going to be in the bonus, although we don't want to do it with a silly rule change where it'll be a double bonus. Ooh, that was close to a walk, but wasn't. That's Wade, a, not get it. Rebound Dietrich. It's not a good shot. Here comes Brody Folks. It's not a good, and I don't mean because Finds you can't. Dietrich. Dietrich's three. Oh, good, good. Darn it, can't get a better look than that. Reason why I said the shot last trip down for them wasn't a good one was just because they, I mean, they're, they're going to start fouling. Let's put this the, into perspective. If Trenton <laughs> hits that three right there, it's a three-point game. Yep, that's With right. a minute 47 to go. We needed that one. This is still in reach. I don't know what they're calling. The crowd doesn't like it, but Coach Dybert's not saying any. I don't see him saying a whole lot. Oops, sorry, folks at home. Cooper lost it. He stepped out. It's going the other way. Sorry, folks at home. I had the camera off. I was trying to see what was going on. My monitor's blocking my view. We're back to the 2-2-1, which is a, the right thing to do because it's going to slow us down, make us use some time. Got to beat this. 
Like Folks. I said, the coaches weren't upset about it, so I don't know. Sometimes it's a better idea not to get upset about it. Keep the guys Folks. focused. Power. Like you said, down six with power. Heinz Dietrich. Dietrich gets it off the glass. Trenton's to 11. Eric Cooper, wide open shot. No good, rebound Evans. Like I said, that. David Bard working on Wade. Power, pass to Folks. Here's Drew and Evans. Finds Dietrich again. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now we got a foul. We call timeout. Oh, goodness. Oh. oh, man. Okay, so they call timeout, so we didn't foul. We've got to foul five times before they will be uh, shooting free throws. So we've got to really jump out into passing lanes. We've got to try to get steals if we can before we have to foul, but then we have to foul right away without shoving someone to the ground. Right. Because um, there's only 40 seconds left and we're down four. But then, like I said, with the new rule, when we do get the, if we, if we don't get a steal and we foul, then they're gonna get two free throws instead of the normal one and one. Just got a text from Coach Francis, our seventh grade boys basketball coach. The seventh graders won in Athens, 32 to 15. And the eighth graders lost a close one, 43 to 35. If I, what Coach Burks told me today was that a team from Athens, their eighth grade group, was undefeated. So that's a good close game against a really good team. It sounds like so. Good news on or good news from the middle school boys side of things. I haven't seen any emails for about the volleyball. So, but like I said, here we go. We need to steal. Somebody jump a passing lane. Somebody pull Larry Bird against the Pistons and get a Larry steal here. Larry Bird. I don't like to talk about Celtic players, but that's all right. That's a great foul. That's a great play. Foul with only I mean, one second have going off the have clock. What, four more to give. Yeah, great. Um, one second goes off the clock. That's kind of shows. Kind of shows some of the boys' discipline to not have not been fouling. Yeah, the only bad thing is, is like. Then you, then you're, then you gotta. Well, you, you're in this situation then. Right. That's a good foul in terms of. I was worried that somebody's gonna shove somebody, not being dirty or rough, but they just they they know yeah. they have to foul, so they. And I've seen it happen like this year too. Many times. And he can, he get way gets open again. What does that give us? One more foul. <laughs> now we got to no. do it twice more. <clears throat> got to watch out for Wade. He's the one getting open for the toppers. Ooh. It's out, out. Ooh, I can't see it. I couldn't see it. Hundred percent stepped out right there. Got better eyes than me. At least from what I could see over the mixer. No, we didn't. We didn't switch that one quickly enough. But that will get them to the free throw line. So that whole sequence started at 40 seconds. So they basically were able to run 10 seconds off of the clock um, to get two free throws now, up four. So these are huge. First one's good. Now, if you were coaching Mount Pulaski, you would tell them if they make this to get into that 2-2-1, two, two, slow us down, and then get back. Got to get this rebound. Wade, good. There is no rebound because he makes it, and it's back to six. What do you say, Caleb? Quick three. Ooh. Yep. That's what we need. Trent Dietrich's three. No good. Tip out back out to power. Power, throw it up. It's no good. And he threw it to Wade. And.
Oh, we're going to have Wade to go to the lineup. Once more. He's first. Good. The second free throw for Wade is good. He rolls in. There's that 2-2-1 two, two, again, like bar. I said. And We got six and a half. Um, it obviously isn't winnable anymore. We don't have Tracy McGrady on the team. We need this. Lucas Power floats it. Not get it. And rebound. Bounce. And Pulaski wins the game. So the final score, 57 to 49 in favor of Mount Pulaski. Um, Disappointing loss, Caleb. I, not because I, I just I thought. I, I don't know. I thought we played. We did good things at different times. Um, they just played better. They had a better. They had a better second, third, and fourth quarter. And because of that, they take home the win. Hit their free throws down the stretch, and uh, I. Uh, I don't know. So the boys have the boys have Friday night off. The boys have Friday night off, and uh, they'll get back to it. Their next game's coming up. They we have Havana on the 16th, which you'll be calling by yourself. Um, hate that I'm going to miss that one with you. We always look forward to that. It's kind of a big game with the duck on the line. Um, you need to get that thing back here. So you got to do your best to make sure you uh, get us a victory on your end. Williamsville on the 23rd and New Berlin on the 26th. They will play Midwest Central on the 12th, Greenview on the 13th, and then they end up with Delavan on the 19th with that's the games that they have left. So, um, well, Caleb, disappointing. Completely. Disappointing loss tonight. Um, if you uh, tuned in this evening, I hope you enjoyed it. We enjoy, I know Caleb and I enjoy doing this together. Like I said, our, our days are not to be all sad or anything, but they're numbered as the season is, gonna, is winding down and we're into January. Um, we look forward to bringing, we look forward to and enjoy bringing this to you. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast. Uh, it's been fun, Cabes. I will see you. Nothing, anything, nothing else? Um, Want to congratulate me on Michigan winning last night? Or no, something? I don't. Um, okay. But obviously tough, tough, but can't bend and break. We can bend, but we can't break. Uh, obviously next Tuesday we got Havana. It's Big game. Probably the biggest rivalry we have. Is Big even game. the whole town of Mason City knows that one. Uh, if you go and ask uh, Jeff Thomas, Cooper's dad, he'll tell you all about that rivalry. <coughs> um, yeah, Havana's focus now. Good win for the toppers. Um Bounce back. Um, you know, everyone has a tough stretch. But the boys hit their shots. Just got to recoup when it comes to defense. Uh, keeping at that tempo. I hope we uh, showcase that more when it comes down the road. Uh, but, yep, Havana's the focus. And let's see if we can go win that duck. All right. Sounds good. I wish I was going to be here for it. I'll enjoy coaching my girls, but uh, you'll take care of it. So thanks again for listening. Take care. Have a good evening. Be safe. I don't know what the roads are like. Um, Take care. Thanks for listening.